touch on one of the best things about Earth Dance was from an artist's point of view is the whole charity aspect and the fact that uh, all the artists agree to get on board for free initially and we then work out what we can pay them after that. So the whole concept is a charity event and to give something more back um, than just a party and sound system um, a good time. Yeah, the Earth Dance as a concept I think is a really winning formula. It's um, it's really nice to see that the money is going through to charities and that people are benefiting from it. It's a little more special than just uh, a regular party and um, yeah, I, I don't really mind what I get paid for it. If they want to pay me, it's good. <laughs> uh, I'm just happy to be part of it all. Children's organizations and environmental concerns have really been our main focus. Um, trying to get people more aware about the environment and I think by doing an outdoor music festival, it's just a, such a great forum to do that. La, 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 la. My name is Jana Kretzmar and I'm the director of an NGO called the Earth Child Project. And what we do is we're working in two schools in Cape Town, one in Kailicha, which is where we're at right now, and the other in Lavender Hill. And what we do is we put a full-time person in the school and they introduce and run our program, which involves organic gardening, worm farming, hiking. We also teach the kids about health and wellness, practical tools to be healthier and happier human beings. They introduce their name and what grade they're in, and then they step out. And we also do life skills, but more alternative life skills to what they're doing at school. We teach the kids things like yoga, meditation, affirmations, the power of positive thinking. And we also do work with the teachers and the parents in the greater community. So that's what Earth Child Project does in a nutshell.